everyone I thought I would bring a video to you all about Russian piping so I've already pre-made my mixture and now I just have to let it thicken up a little bit even though I am quite impatient and next I've got all my tips already so all these Russian tips are popped into the bags um, so they're in a piping bag each has their own piping bag and then once we actually make them I put them into their own uh, glad wrap or like a film um, that goes through this which you'll see in a moment but yeah let's get started on this beautiful Russian piping okay we're back again here so we do have the four piping tips that we're going to be using they are Russian piping tips of course because that's what we're doing today so we're going to be using this beautiful um, teal colored mixture so this is just your normal soap batter mixture and then you're going to leave this to be a medium trace. It really needs to be thicker than this when you actually pipe with it. But for smoothing it on the paper or the glad wrap film that we're doing, um, just to get it ready, this is fine. So we're going to have a big piece of uh, plastic film underneath and then all we're going to be doing is smoothing this out to be about one centimetre in thickness and in a rectangle type shape because we're going to end up rolling this um, long lengthways uh, once it's all into this little plastic film. So for now we're going to be working on just this teal colour and then in the centre of this we will actually be pop popping another colour. So I think the colour we're going to be choosing is like a peachy kind of cream to be in the middle and do remember that this teal is going to be outside that will wrap around the flower and show the most of the petals. The other piece that we're going to or the mixture that we're going to be popping in the centre, that centre piece of the mixture is actually going to become kind of like the seedling of the flower. But if you do this too early and it's too thin, it won't actually show definition of the flower. So um, even with this, this is too thin, but for the purpose of filming, I just thought we'll pop it together. And if you want it, like I said, really clear and defined an outside of the flower to the inside of the flower, do make sure it's a really thick trace and then you need to work a little bit faster. But because I'm doing several um, to show this video today, I am actually leaving it at a lighter trace. So you can see here, I'm literally just going to be popping them onto um, the plastic film and then I'll start on the next one and we'll just keep going along with this. Um, so each one will be exactly the same and then I'll come back once I've done all of this and show you our next steps. So we've got all the colours ready now and ready to go. So the next step that we're going to be doing here is actually wrapping the film the right way. So remember when we wrap the film, we need to just twist it and make it perfect. Um, and then uh, it'll be ready for each particular one. So you can see me going along and I'm actually just feeling the mixture to see how it is going. 
So you're just going to grab one side of the plastic film and meet it at the other side of the plastic film and that way your outside colours will stay together and your inside one should stay inside. If this was much thicker, it would be really easy to do and to find. But either way, you can see it works quite fine. So we're just going to wrap everything over as I've done here and twist the ends. The reason you twist the ends is just to keep all the mixture in if it was a little bit fluid. Um, but yeah, usually we'd try and make sure it's quite a thick trace. The problem is though, once it's a thick trace, you only have a really small window to work with. So hence why we've done it this way, so we can show you all the different colours. And the good thing with having it in this uh, wrap, when you actually pop it into the piping bag, it doesn't make much of a mess. And often you can reuse the piping bag. If it's, you know, just a disposable one, you usually can reuse it because there's hardly anything dirty in it. The only thing that will be is at the end of the Russian tip. So, but anyway, like I said, you can see me twisting it all around here. And that way we can do sort of a whole garden of flowers. So. You know you might be doing a soap that literally has um, sort of a country garden or a country field look and then you can use you know ro uh, roses and tulips and all the different ones that we're going to be using today sometimes you can even just have a flower that's kind of like a star look and you can use that as well um, which I have used that in one of my cat soaps to look like a bit of a star on the top of the soap so yeah so you can do lots and lots of things with them but now we have you know obviously we have have like our black and yellow we've got the mustard color the purple and pink and of course the teal with the really light cream peach and they're all ready so now we'll just go and grab the piping bags and get them all ready So now we do have our piping tip that's in the end of the disposable piping bag. So all we're going to do is just snip off the end of the plastic film that we've already rolled the mixture in. It's a little bit thicker now. And then we're just going to place it in and sort of try and pop it at the end. Don't try and squish it too much or else you will squish and muddy up all the colors. So you do need to try and slide it in. And like I said, sometimes you can use a wax, ra uh, wax proof paper and that's fine. But um, but for now, we're using this plastic bit. So you can see here how it's fit, sit in there really nicely. If it was thicker, like I said, once again, that outside would have definitely worked a little bit better, but it is what it is, isn't it? So we'll work with this today. And um, you can see in the end, when I just give it a little bit of a push, how it comes out. So today I made, I wanted to make sure that when I did it, something, some of the bits were wrong and some were right because it's really good for you to actually learn that when I do it, sometimes it may not be right as well. So it doesn't matter whether it's right or not, just give it a go. If it's too loose, the mixture, then you go, I'll wipe it off and I'll start again. So that's definitely the best thing on, you know, what I suggest for you to do. So all you're going to do once you feel it's ready is you're just literally going to be pushing down and then you pull it up and release. So you need to keep the pressure on the start until you build up the flower and make it look a little bit solid at the bottom and then just pull the tip up in the air. If you don't do that, you're just not going to get the um, definition of the flower. Um, and also one good tip actually as well, if you use titanium dioxide, it will actually thicken your mixture up. But the problem is if the inner bit has titanium and the outer bit does not, then one will thicken up and the other will not. So it actually won't work together. So it's best to do both of the colors with titanium or both without. Now, if you see what I'm doing here now, I'm actually just doing this bit of piping and you'll see that the first bits were really quite loose. But as I go along 
and I keep my hand really steady and just pull up. You can see that it show, starts to show the definition of the flower. The one thing that is really important when you're doing Russian piping is to try and keep the piping bag vertical straight up in the air. If it's on an angle, it will pull the petals to a side. So it's really important to keep it uh, vertical. That's definitely uh, one of the biggest tricks that I can give you along with the mixture being the perfect consistency. So everyone, no matter how good or bad you are at Russian piping, will start off with it not working at the start because it's usually not exactly the right uh, consistency and that you'll only learn that by doing one or two flowers and, and seeing whether you really loved it or not. But most in this teal color did work um, and um, the one thing too is the easiest tip to start with is the rose. The rose is definitely the easiest. Let's start with the uh, mustard and the peachy colored one we'll start to do that as well obviously I've already popped it in the bag just as I did with the first one and then I'll start doing them as well it is a little bit harder when you're doing it on like a wax proof paper like I'm doing here if you were to do it on the soap the bottom would attach to the soap and it would be easier to pull up but I'm having to hold down the paper and pull up at the same time and you can see here that they're just not ready yet they they're too liquidy and that's why they're just not holding exactly as we really want them to be so you just got to keep going and you know just realize when it's not working and come back and retry it again so we'll come back in a second and we will restart the whole process again of just this particular one but leave it in the bag you know and we'll just come back and um, see if the mixture is better and more consistent for us Now if you can see how I start to pipe with the mustard one again after leaving it for about eight or nine minutes, you'll see that it's really good now. So the consistency is perfect. It's holding um, its form. And when I pull the flower up in the air, you can see the definition in the middle of this flower. So when we first started, it was just too liquidy and it wasn't ready. So this is what I'm saying about really do take a look at it and, you know, go, okay, it's not ready. I have to be patient and I'll just come back because otherwise you'll actually ruin it and you'll get all disappointed. Um, I will do another video later on with these flowers actually on the soap. So I might actually make a big soap with them. And then I'll just sort of add some leaves and maybe a couple more Russian piping bits in it just to show you how these particular ones are going to work in the soap that we'll use. But for now, we'll just concentrate on, you know, giving you some tips and tricks on the Russian piping. Um, like I said, once again, you're going to be, you know, give it a bit of pressure. Make sure that the flower on the bottom bit sort of fills out, which is about, a, I'd say about a centimetre or one and a half centimetres and then start to slowly pull up in the air and release the pressure. Once you release the pressure, that's actually when the top pulls away and gives the definition of the flowers that you can see. So hopefully this little bit has helped you see how beautiful it can be from when we first started and it was a bit of a disaster because it just wasn't right and then leaving it a little bit and how it can look really beautiful and the definition of the flower can just look so beautiful and special. Now let's start on the pink rose one. So I've got a bit of pink and purple in here. 
This hot pink is notorious for not thickening up really fast. I've used it a lot in Russian piping, but hopefully, because I have left this one to the third one, hopefully it is a little bit thicker. It is doing its bit, but it was a bit tricky for me to um, get this one to work. The one thing that I will say, and I don't know why it is, but the neon colors that I use, they're always more tricky and I need to wipe the end of the tip in between using them. So that's probably a bit of um, a, a trick, but to, like if you can see these ones that I'm just doing now, this is the bit where you can see it's not working and I need to clean the end of the tip. So just wipe it with a piece of paper towel or a tissue and then come back and try again. But if you feel that it's not thick enough, which the end of these purple and pink ones weren't, then just wait a bit and come back. So in the meantime, I've grabbed the black one and the black one's fine and we're just doing the same thing and pressing up again. The black one is more like a bit of um, a closed tulip with tiny little seedlings in the center of it. And I do use uh, black to represent stars sometimes when I do soaps. I did do one that was really, really good um, on a cat soap for my daughter, which there is um, another video on that one. I'll leave the link actually for that video in case you want to watch because that's a really good one for Russian piping as well and um, yeah so just watch me and you'll see as I go along how these ones are working out really well the black did work out quite well but of course we had to come back several times for the pink and purple because like I said that was actually um, a, you know was actually a, a color that isn't a great color being you know the hot pinks Let's do a take three on this purple and pink one. So we've had to wait for a while for it to thicken up and try and do its job. It's still not playing nice at times, but that's okay. Um, that's a bit of the soap world, isn't it? So like I said, once again, you know, sort of give it one to one and a half centimeters um, of thick icing or piping at the bottom before you pull up on um, your bit of your piping mixture and Piping with, um, when we're doing ration piping in soap, it's not the same as butter piping. When you do it on a cake, honestly, it's much easier. I've done both, heaps easier on that. But soap is a little bit more tricky because you've got time restraints involved as well. And if you can see the one I just did, I was I didn't hold the piping bag up straight enough. So of course the flower has popped to the side and that's what I was talking about, holding it in a vertical position the whole time. But this mixture still is not perfect so i did have to clean the end of the tip and then come back later so if you see that some of it's sticking to the end of the tip you will need to just wipe it off with a paper towel or spray a bit of rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and then just wipe the end and then try and start again or just give it a few more minutes and then come back to see you know how it's actually working but i'll let you watch me now and then i'll come back in just a moment so much for listening everybody and here is the end result this is about three days later 
so i'm just showing you the ends and how they've all worked out and looking all beautiful sorry about my mess in the background but i've just finished making apple soap um, but yeah you can see here that they're really defined the colors have come really beautiful as well now I don't gel these I literally just try, you know keep them in a darker area and the color does seem to look beautiful and stay really nice so that that's my thing with these is what I actually do and you can see that the patterning is really defined and beautiful so anyway once again like I said thanks for listening if you'd love to subscribe please do and pop on the notification and you'll see all of our uh, tricks and um, tips that we can give you with all the soaping thanks so much bye for now